it's important to do what you love because life is too short to do anything else. I get to share my passion for music every day at work, which is just a dream situation. Hi, I'm Georgie Rogers, and today we are down at the Roundhouse in Camden to catch up with the boys from Wild Beef. Welcome to the 63rd Ivor Novello Awards, presented by Basker, the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors. What advice would you have for new songwriters? Follow your heart. Backstage with one of the wireless headliners, Mr James Murphy from LCD Sound System. How goes it, my friend? Uh, it goes okay. I got a little bit of a sunburn in England. I wanted to be about 19. That would be about right. And an easy sun that goes in and out behind clouds. Yeah. This is just sweltering. I think the interesting thing with your career, as you've kind of gone through producing some really great bands, is that really, there aren't role models. I remember playing your stuff on the radio and being like, and see the get the press release um, from some like of the early stuff, and then I'd see Catherine Marks. Like, that, is, that is a female producer, everybody. Hi, I'm Georgie, and tonight the Kills are going to be taking to the stage here at the Roundhouse. What do you think it is that's, that's kept you going? Is it your dynamic and your working relationship? Ooh, we've burnt all our bridges now. So, uh... <laughs> you got me from the start, you got me good. I you. You yo, yo, <laughs> so welcome to Secret Sessions. Oh, that was absolutely mega. I think the acoustics of this room as well, every stamp of the boot was just like ricocheting around. Yeah, yeah it's a good room. Yeah. Yeah. Dave's album, you know, it, it really is a very important exploration into masculinity, mental health, the human condition, what it's like being young and black in London growing up without a father, um, and also the album being in the framework of the therapy sessions that his brother, who's serving a life sentence, has been having. Is there anyone um, you'd really like to produce or any kind of music you'd really like to focus on? Um, I, I've missed two opportunities to work with Arcade Fire. <sighs> two, albums, <sighs> two albums in a row. So when it was time to make this record, they were making their record and it was like, damn it. So uh, Next one. Next, it would be nice. Anyway, let's talk about business. Your album is coming out so soon. You're going to have to tell me about the bum chum. <laughs> so this seat here is a very expensive seat and when I put my foot down on the kick drum, it basically sends a shock up through my bum. The uh, guitarist in Black Midi, um, yeah, failed to do some sort, hit the piano and then sort of had various other calamities around the stage. Yes. It went uh, a bit spinal tap for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this was in the 80s. There was no sat-nav, there was no WhatsApp, <laughs> there's no Instagram, social no, media, social internet, no. on a phone. Yeah. That, I mean, that is incredible, really. So you were going off maps. I got quite, quite lost. Yeah. You know, because I didn't... I, like I would have got really <laughs> lost but a actually, lot. It's quite, it's quite good getting lost. Yeah. You know, getting lost is all part of the adventure. What advice would you have for young people? Keep, keep writing, your pen is your sword. I the right, I'm going to leave you to get on with your sound check. Oh because I want to hear this for myself. What did you have to suck at the most to succeed? What? <laughs> <laughs> not, that is not a metaphor for something. <laughs> Mind out of the gutter. <laughs> what were you really you bad should, at? You should be really, really good. Yeah, you should really <laughs> rephrase that one. So I think we can safely say that this is not our backup career option. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah. <laughs> That'll be six quid, please. Do you want to float with that? <laughs>